What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a Super Saiyan effect in Sony Vegas. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now at the start you saw three different examples and I'll be showing you how to use each of them now. Now before we go any further, on the screen I've put timestamps so you can see how to do the Pacific one I showed you at the start. They were all labelled 1, 2 or 3. They're on the screen right now. You can either go to that time or you can watch the entire tutorial. So number one, which is probably the most longest one to edit, but this is it right here as you can see and what we need to do first of all is cut it down now a part you didn't see that this actually has if I play this to the end as you can see that happens we get this effect at the end so you can implement this if you want to for me I did not and I'll show you how you don't need to add it either the first thing we need to do is get rid of this background this green background so we're gonna head over to video effects if you don't see it then simply come to view windows layout and select default layout and from video effects you're gonna come to chroma key just drag on the default, come to color, come to the color picker and select the background. As you can see, it gets rid of it just like that. And we can X out of this. Now, I wanna to go to the part where it actually gets up. Cause as you can see, it doesn't start straight away. It has some stuff here, has an explosion. Then it's in place right here. So I'm gonna press S on my keyboard and I'm gonna drag this to this marker. This marker I laid out, this is where I actually put my arms out as if the effect is happening. And I'm gonna drag this here as well. Now, something important. If you're gonna keep uh, this ending here, like that, then keep the audio. But if you're not, and you're gonna follow the way I do it, right click the audio track and select delete track because you won't need it so since i'm not going to be using the end i'm going to trim it so right here i'm going to trim this down now i'm going to hold control and drag this to the second marker and this is when i put my hands down so this is what we have so far it's going to play and then we get it now you can see it's clearly not in the right position so we're going to fix that as well we're going to come to track motion for this by pressing this button up here now don't have sync cursor checked and then come across in your timeline so you can see what's happening. Now, all we're gonna do is position this how we would want it. Now, for me, I'll probably have it like this. I'm not really sure how Super Saiyan actually looks. I apologize if I offended anyone with that. I've never actually watched it, but there we go. I'm gonna have it like that. It's in position, so if I play this through, that is what we get in the end with this effect. As you can see, even though we slowed it down, it still looks good. And then it just goes off screen like that. Now, if you're wondering, can you change the color of this effect? Yes, you can very simply. Head over to video effects, come to color balance, drag on the default one. Now we can experiment. You want it red, maybe a blue, maybe a purple or pink, a lime green, and of course a really bright yellow a really dark blue and you just experiment with these colors you can make a really nice effect as you can see it's a bright hot pink and yeah that is how you change the color of this probably this is probably my favorite color okay so number two this one also has sound uh it's optional if you use it for me i don't want to use it so i'm going to right click and delete the audio track and again we need to get rid of the green screen for those that skipped ahead to get rid of this green screen first of all we need to head over to video effects if you don't see it come to view windows layout and default layout now from video effects we're going to come to chroma key and on the default come to color the color picker here and select the background so it gets rid of it like that we can x out of this and these markers you're seeing this is where I put my hands to the side like I have the effect and the second marker is where I stop the effect and go back to normal. So that is why I've set them out and it lets me know where I can trim this down. The next thing I'm going to do is make it bigger to the size we want it. So we're going to come to track motion. Again, I won't have sync cursor check so I can come here and see how this looks. I'm going to zoom out and just position this how I want it. As you can see, unfortunately the top is cut off with this effect but that shouldn't be a problem. Just make sure you have the camera at this type of angle so you're almost at uh, head height. And then we can X out of this and we can play this from the beginning and this is the second one done. Just like that. And if you wanna stretch it out, come back to track motion. Make sure scale about center is unchecked and lock aspect ratio is unchecked. Then zoom out. As you can see, we can start to make it wider. 
and then it fits to how you want it even better like that there we go so as you can see it's now covering all around me if I play this it's simply done like that now if you're wondering can you change the color of this you can come over to video effects and select color balance drag on the default one make sure you are on midtones as you can see we have blue change it to blue like that change it to green change it to red like this all the way up there we go and as you can see if we go back and just experiment with the colors we can get a really nice blue there and really strong blue here then like a lime green and you just play around with these colors as you can see we've now got a nice yellow probably better than the original as well and now this is number three this time we're not going to be using chroma key to get rid of this black background all we're going to do is come over to compositing mode and we're going to select screen as you can see it gets rid of it just like that we're going to come to the start and as you can see it doesn't start straight away it actually takes a bit of time to get up here so I'm going to press S on my keyboard to split it and I'm going to drag this off to the side before I do the effect so it shows a build up like that. Then I'm going to drag this here and I'm going to bring this marker here. For those that skipped ahead to this effect, these markers I've laid out, this is where I put my arm to the side as if the effect is happening. Then the second marker is here is when I start like that. So now we need to position this and we're going to head over to track motion for this and we're going to zoom out, make sure uh, sync cursor is unchecked, I'm going to right click and set this back to normal, I'm going to make sure scale about center is checked, lock aspect ratio is checked, and then all we're going to do is bring this up to how you want it. It's going to be different for everyone, it's completely optional, and I'm going to have mine right here. If you want to rotate it, there is a rotation button here, just select it, now you can rotate it if you want to, as you can see my body is to the side just a tiny bit, so I'll keep mine like that. And if I X out of this, and I play this through now, this is what I have. Just like that. The rotation is probably off too much, but that is how you can edit this in Sony Vegas. Now, if you're wondering, can you change the color of this? Yes, you can. Very simply, all you need to do is head over to Video Effects and select Color Balance. From there, drag on the default one. And now, you experiment with the colors. As you can see, nice blue here, green, lime green. And it's really simple. So that is how you choose the color you want. And to me, probably blue is the best one you're going to get. But that is how you create a Super Saiyan effect in Sony Vegas. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate and peace.